tell a story. It's a true story. It's absolutely true. It happened to me last night. There's actually footage of uh, the event. Sometimes a clumsy I don't possess that footage. But I'm sure I will at some point and maybe Slips I will briefly uh, upload it. Because that'd be fun. It's funny. It's really great. And you <sighs> put really good your stories, hand in hers. Ah. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Before she thinks to ride. It's a red couch. Neither of them I know very well at all. Like Someone's a bubble in the air. And uh, my friends are from here. So we were on this couch. When and uh, just really violently. Maybe two uh, will disappear. I was something trying to rip me from my body. Like absolutely violently. She was trying to trying to fucking tug out of there. That was you know, it was I got away a little bit, pulled pulled back, you know, and there was this fight, fight, uh, all the stars an epic battle, and then I stopped fighting, I was like, fuck you, you know, Even but then I was falling, I was falling and falling and falling, and you know, the funniest joke and there is, I you know, it's really funny, jeweler. like the very funniest joke that a human being can hear is pretty much hysterical so things got really funny because I heard that joke and just was laughing pretty much as hard as I could like laugh, personally so laughing and falling stuff. still like very violently it was like like someone was fucking hitting me or I don't know like, like hitting but like I was hitting something Maybe two will you know, disappear. falling 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 and um I must leave a little then, early then so the couch the remains boat. complete. The couch just turned into a boat. In the water. Leaving as a boat. And it's funny because I had a dream earlier this week where uh, I made like the greatest YouTube video ever and it was just me sitting on a boat. Uh, my computer was like floating out of the water. And I'm like, that's just That's not safe. really not the greatest YouTube video Maybe that you two will disappear. Not at all. But in my dream, I didn't realize that. Anyways, I was on a boat now with these two other people. And actually, I was a part of the boat. Like, I was part of the side of the boat. It's like, kind of, it's kind of there with the side of the boat. And I fell off the boat. I just, I fell into the water. And uh, it was a really great thing. Like, it was really lucky of me to fall in the water. It was really special that I was in the water and they were still on the boat. It was really, it was really good um, that I was in the water. And then there's a lighter area. It was really, it was brighter over there, over to my left. And um, it was a really nice part, spot in the water, like a really good, good part of the water. You know, it was even better than just being in the water. It was like a special place. So I swam over there, and that was really great. Like, it, I mean, it was pretty much like me becoming enlightened. Like, it was, I was, like, really fucking awesome for being over there. And um, it was such a great place to be. And I, you know, I was still laughing. It was, I was still, you know, it was still pretty funny. And over there, um, you know, it was really... It was really enlightened. It was really special. It was really great that I was over there. But then <sighs> Leah came around with her camera, was filming me, and I felt like I had snot coming out of my nose or something. And I was like, hell, like, I look awful over here. Why are, you know, why is this happening? Like, why, why don't you see that I'm this really awesome being and totally enlightened? And I felt bad for my friends that were still on the boat that weren't in the water over there with me. And I was really a little irritated at Leah for following me with his camera, and I saw my friends on the boat, and I'm like, okay, maybe I should go back to the boat and help them, you know? I could help them, you know, understand what is so great about the water over there, and, uh, you know, and I really wanted to be, be in the boat with them. 
Oh, I went back to the boat, and um, I tried to, I didn't, you know, they were thinking about other things and not me, and, uh, you know, I was trying to, to get their attention or to get them to, to not look over to the, like, don't look off the boat, you know, there's people over there, and they have cameras, and, like, you don't, just don't, don't even look over there, don't pay attention to them. They are not important. We're on this boat together, and we need to we need to focus and stay here and not get off the boat anymore. Like now we're on the boat and we need to live here forever. We need to be happy and just just be here forever on this boat. And um, you know, like kind of got it. And then I mean, Dan was the captain of the boat, and he's steering, and it's hard. And, like we were on this boat and trying to like, you know, be like, okay, you know, what's going on? Like, we're here together. I'm here. I mean, I'm back, back on the boat with you guys. We have to let's be here forever and be happy. But then I realized this was actually a salvia trip, and I had taken a drug, and it was going to be over. And it was going to be over really soon. So my hopes of staying on this boat forever. With these people were being kind of trampled on. And uh, I decided, fuck it, fuck it, I don't care. I don't care. Just don't look over there. And um, I'm going to smoke more salvia. And it'll be fine. I want to stay on the boat forever. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be great. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Just don't look over there. And then Dan's looking at the light. The little red light on the camera, which is dying, I think. Which is why there's a red light, and I didn't, I didn't know what the red light was, but he was clearly looking over there when I told him not to, and um, I don't care. Uh, but I, I tried to relate to him and like, be like, yeah, there's a red light, okay, you know, yeah, but you're the captain of the boat, right? Like, that's not, yeah, don't worry about it. I understand you. I get you. Just pay, just stay here, stay here with me on this boat, and uh, <laughs> it didn't really work out. It was there's. It, very hopeless. There was no, there was no living on this boat forever. It's pretty sad. And then, luckily, Brian wanted to do some uh, some repetitions with me. It's just uh, a thing from his perspective, taking exercise. He does so. He asked to do that, and then I was like, "Okay, you guys aren't so bad. I don't hate you anymore. I didn't really hate them, but you know." I felt like understood and like maybe these other people were actually on the boat too and and then um, it was okay. Sometimes a clumsy goddess 